The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives us strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youth grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on eagles' wings, on wings of eagles like eagles. And they will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not be faint. So see, you have to stand strong. You can't just stop. Even though there's going to be stumbling times, young men have to stand strong. Because you will be lifted up on eagles' wings. For each of those times, you need to hold her, or even hold yourself up. You have the strength to do that. And from Psalm 100, he's fine. Shout. You know, I love the noise of kids fussing and kids moving around all over the place. Claire, I love those boots. Those are wonderful. I just noticed them. Okay. From Psalm 100, that was not planned, was it? Okay, that's okay. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. And that's why this is so important today. We shout for the Lord. We worship the Lord with gladness. And we come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. We enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. So we sing loudly. We hear those echoes and those cries, whether it be out in the combine or the tractor, whether it be at the hospital with your patients. We have to lift up our voices in joy and thanksgiving for everything that we have as we move through our world. And from Colossians 3, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive each other if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And of all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you are called to peace. And be thankful. It is time that you check to put on and be able to say you're sorry. Mostly, though, you have to be able to say you're forgiven. You may have to be the first to apologize all the time, because sometimes the other doesn't even see it. But what God knows is that he loves you so much. He claimed you both in baptism in the beginning. He's claiming you now as a couple being unified in marriage. That now the work begins. <laughs> and from Matthew, <laughs> from Matthew 5, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled and underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither can people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on the stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. These are the words of the Lord. The words you've chosen that are so true in all that we do. Amen. You trying to blow the candles out? Can we let's wait just a little bit and then I'll let you do that. Well, well not right now. Can we wait just a minute? Can we wait just a few minutes? We'll do that, okay? I'll let you blow out a candle. Okay? Oh wait a minute, you know what? Come here a minute. You know what? We need to 
much more. I can just blow out a candle right now. That's if I can reach it. What happens to the short past? Just tall enough to light the candle. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You want to like blow that one out? Built on 
the authority. The purple represents the groom. As a new creation in Christ, the majesty of the groom is represented in purple. And as the husband loves his wife and submits himself to the Lord, the Lord in turn will demonstrate his great love in the marriage relationship. And the white represents the bride. Having been cleansed by salvation in Christ, the purity of the bride is represented in white. As the wife, she honors her husband and submits herself to the Lord. The Lord in turn will nurture and strengthen the marriage relationship. There is a core of history, I don't know later. But it's a visible memory of what you have done today that keeps us all unified or in unity with each other, but also you're important as, as being individuals. You can continue, actually. I want you guys to kneel now. <laughs> Lord God, who created our first parents and established them in marriage, establish and sustain you that you may find the light in each other and grow in holy love until life's end. May you dwell in God's presence forever. May true and constant love preserve you. And now today, in constant mercy and great faithfulness to the high priest, we recall your act of unfailing love for the human family, for the house of Israel, and for our people, the church. We bless you for the joy which you, Caleb and no, Mackenzie and Caleb, put <laughs> I put them together. Isn't that cool? Wow. Okay. Well, anyway, for both of you, because you have found love in each other, and we pray that you give to us such a sense of your constant love, God, that they may employ all our strength in a life of praise for you, whose work alone holds true and endures forever. Let us join together as a congregation and say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, keep you in his life and truth and love now and forever. Amen. You may stand up. Well, I guess. Well, we need to do, we need to do one thing before we do anything else. I need to see if you guys have practiced your kissing things since last night. We all slobbered on each other and all those kind of things. But, if you thought it wasn't going to stay, you crazy. Okay, so, you want to try it? They get to judge whether it's good enough. <laughs> okay? Okay. You all try it.
they will be bringing you out um, outside, in fact. So y'all have a great day.